day two. I guess I slept on the couch. What was that noise? I didn't hear a noise. I also didn't hear anything. What's going on? Oh, Jesus, no. Simone? Philip? Jim? Oh, God. Who did this? What the? You did this? Stay back, I'm warning you! I have a parasol! Who are you? What? Okay, so I did sleep on the couch. Hey, where's my hat? Okay. Christ, I've never dreamt so vividly before. It was so disturbing. Good for you. Oh, goody. So, where is everyone? Well, this house is creaky. Anything on the tally this time? Top story is... Still baffled by the apparent disappearance of... Okay, now they're talking about Simone being missing. Okay. Oh dear. Well, if she's getting pressed, then that probably means that, uh... Oh, they can't get in either. What the hell? What the heck is up with this house? Oh, and they're mentioning Jim as well. So... That's a question. How the hell did the original owner get out if, uh... Get in if uh, even the police can't get in. What is with this house? Nobody's in here. Okay, so... I guess I'll try upstairs. Yeah, let me try upstairs first and then I'll look in the garden. Thug, 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 thug. I keep hearing whispers. Nope! That's still locked. That's locked. That door looks different. Oh, this one's open. I guess she broke her way in. Alright. Let's talk, lady. Hey, Miss Taylor. Miss Taylor. Oh, hello, Mr. Trailby. Do you know where the others are? Well, Philip said he was going into the garden. I don't know where Jim is. And AJ's still missing. Thanks. Uh, sleep well? To be honest, not really. I had this terrible dream. Someone had killed you and Philip and Jim. I remember a huge guy with a welding mask. Let me guess. He took out the mask and he looked exactly like you? No, actually, he looked exactly like you. What does it mean? Frankly, I don't want to know. Um... Did you break the lock on this door? No, I just came up here and it was like that. I suppose AJ must have done it. He must have been reading from that pile of books. I don't know exactly. I'd have to ask him. Um, so I take it AJ hasn't turned up yet? Well, obviously she said it. he's still missing. No. Do you think he found a way out? If he did, he didn't have the decency to tell us. I wouldn't be surprised. He's kind of jumpy. I noticed. Maybe he just saw an opportunity and took it. Maybe. What do you know about AJ? Not much. He refused to tell us anything about himself. Where he came from? Why he came here? Not even his full name. Kind of suspicious, isn't it? Do you think he had some kind of agenda? Well, I really wouldn't know. Of course, you're not one to judge when it comes to withholding names. <laughs> so how are you holding up? Oh, spare me the gallantry. I'm just fine. Well, see you later then.
I think I'm gonna check out that pile of books. They can use these at all. Okay. Can't look through them. No, apparently not. Okay, fine. Moving onward. And this was the room I was in. I don't think there's anything here for me. So, Philip's in the garden. No idea where Jim is. Hopefully, he's not dead. Oh, there's Jim. Hello. Does that picture look a little messed up to you, or just me? Aged man. Yeah, he was a lot healthier looking, I think. Weird. On the second floor. I think she broke the door open or something. Thanks. I already saw her. What are you reading there? Treasure Island. I found it in the living room. How you liking it? It's a bit heavy going. I think I prefer Terry Pratchett. Good for you. Uh, seen AJ anywhere? Not since yesterday morning. He seemed pretty anxious about something. Did he say why? No. Just said something about getting to the bottom of all this. Then he left the room and I never saw him again. Hmm. How you feeling? Okay, I guess. I had this really horrible dream. Ugh, but you don't want to hear about it. You're taking this prisma thing very well, I must say. Well, it's not that different to boarding school, really. Except there's no one to hit you across the knuckles when you talk too much at night. Uh, thanks, that's all. Okay, Mr. Trilby. Seems like a nice kid. Even though I made him sound like he's still having issues with his voice. Jeez, even outside his feet for thump, 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 thump. I'm guessing Phil is over here. Yep. Alright, Phil. Let's chat. Hey, Mr. Hardy. Yeah, look who's up. Um. Well, I already know about the others, but I'll ask anyway. Also saw Jim. He was in the dining room. Don't know about the tailor woman. Thanks. Do you know if AJ's turned up yet? Not to my knowledge. In fact, I don't think we'll be seeing him ever again. Why not? Well, if this is some kind of reality TV stunt, he must have been in on it. Maybe he's going to file a report on how the hidden cameras are working. I honestly doubt this is the work of the BBC, Philip. Do you have a better explanation? Not yet. Well then. But yeah, I don't think the television is overly smart to do that. Um, what are you doing with that metal detector? It's actually part of the plan to get out of here. Oh, good. I heard there's some kind of family tomb buried somewhere under the grounds. If I could find it, there might be another way to the surface. And I presume only family valuables that have there down there would be on an expected bonus. Hey, judge, not lest you be judged yourself. You're a cat burglar, for God's sake. At least I have a sense of priorities. Well, when you found an escape route and saved us all, I'll sure to apologize profusely. Um, how do you know there's a tomb there? I don't. That's what the metal detector's for. How do you know there's anything to detect? It's probably all stone and dusty corpses. Actually, you'd be surprised how much metal can be found in a tomb. Belt buckles, coffin handles, candlesticks, 
gold, silverware, implying something. Oh, goodness me, no. Listen, the tomb could be on the other side of the grounds for all you know. Sure, but this is as good a place as any to start. And until I see some compelling evidence for, not for its location, I'll continue my systematic sweep. Um, are you the one that dug up half the lawn? Yeah, I was trying to dig my way out of this place. But the ground gets really solid two feet down and the wall foundations go even further. Well, I'll explain the holes nearest the walls. What about the others? <sighs> Alright, I was looking for treasure. Happy now? You want some kind of metal? Just professional interest, you understand. Any luck? But treasure? Nah. Found some kind of pipeline running under the lawn, but not much else. Um, how you doing? Oh, I'm just fine. And when I find the way out, I'll be even better. Can I borrow your metal detector? What do you want it for? I'm not sure yet. Brilliant. Well, I'll give you a shout when I'm finished with it. Thanks. See you around. Whatever. Something tells me you're gonna die. Horribly. Is there anything in the pool? The water is deep and smells strongly of chlorine. There's a blurry shape visible in the water, but I can't tell what it is. Perhaps if the pool were drained. Hmm. Well, I think the only way I'm gonna find that is if I find... So there's something at the bottom of the pool, eh? Which means I have to find whatever it is that drained the pipeline somewhere in there, which I probably need the metal detector for, but I can't get it because he's like, I gotta find the tombs. So I gotta find the tombs for him, I guess. Then he'll give me the metal detector. Thunk, 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 thunk. Can those steps be any louder? Well, let me check the library. Maybe there's like maps or something of this place. All right. Well, let's see here. Let's see. Cartooning and watercolor and photography. Textbooks on gardening. The Digest of the Visual Arts. Complete unabridged Oxford English Dictionary. These don't come cheap. Roadmaps and atlases. Probably tragically out of date. No noble families. History of the Defoe lineage. That looks interesting. I'll probably look at it in a minute. Photo albums. How to cook. Encyclopedia Britannica. Ah, archaeological plans. Which probably means there's something about the maps here. Map is always handy. All right. Let's look at our map. Very old architectural plans for the Defoe Manor. Here we go. Clearly marked. Oh, the tombs are in the front yard. Something odd about this map. There's something missing. Well, there's something here that doesn't belong. Yeah. Something I don't recall seeing in the house. Yeah, look at that. There's a pair of stairs that just goes nowhere. Hmm. Well, either way, we found a map. Actually, I was gonna check out here, right? Yeah, let's look up on this Defoe family thing. Roger Defoe, later Sir Roger Defoe, is probably the most famous of the lineage. 
His love of the inheritance he attained when his parents died suddenly he embarked on a series of adventures throughout the globe, earning quite a reputation as a colonial explorer. Tired from adventuring at the age of 40, when he met his future bride, Belinda Rothman, uh, built a luxury manor in the English countryside, and the couple moved in as soon as the work was complete. Okay, they were happy. Okay, she died giving birth to their only son, Matthew. It was in mourning for a long time, leaving the upbringing of Matthew in the hands of numerous nannies and tutors. When he finally did start taking on interest in his son, he was known to be bitterly disappointed. Uh, his son didn't want to join the army, preferred to pursue art and literature. Matthew neared 15, whose father seemed to grow closer. Didn't always see eye to eye, but they seemed to understand each other and offer unconditional love. Then, on Matthew's 15th birthday, him and his father disappeared. No bodies found. If Sir Roderick and his wayward son remains a mystery to this day. Hmm. That's questionable. Of our luck, we're probably going to figure out what the hell happened. Anyway, I'll show the map to Phil, because he's not going to find the tombs in the backyard. Go down the stairs, Trilby. Thunk, 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 thunk. Oi. Jeez, what are you wearing? Clogs? Why does everybody walk so loudly? Hey, Phil! Here. Hey, Mr. Hardy, I found this old map in the library. Didn't you? Take a look. The tomb is quite curly under the front yard. What? This is the backyard! There's no way into the front yard! Sucks, doesn't it? Well, I guess that's my escape plan out the window. Thanks a bunch, buddy. Don't mention it. Can I borrow the metal detector? Why the hell not? Take away my hopes. Might as well take my only worth, worldly possession, too. Have fun with it. Thanks. Now, do excuse me. I'm gonna go cry myself in a corner. Anyway. Metal detector! Time to use you! Oh, okay. Oh. Hang on. I probably have to start from this pipeline. Use metal detector with the pipeline. Can track where the pipeline needs with the metal detector. Beep 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 Trail is here. Okay. Do we have a shovel? I don't have a shovel. Crap. I gotta go look for a shovel. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's any shovel out here. Is there any... Nope, 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 nope. Trailby, come back. Look in the door. It's a door. It's a door. It's another door. It's what in the trade call a door. It's a large rectangular piece of wood used to fill large wag holes and walls. It's a door. What more is there to say? As you probably already figured out, this is a door. My keen senses tell me that this is a door. This is a door I see before me. It's larger than a window. It's smaller than a garage. So I guess it's a door. I think of all the doors I've seen here, this is by far the best. I take it back. This is the best door in the whole house. I used to go out with a girl who had a door just like that. I've I already told you about the girl who had a door just like that. Her name was Patricia. And her most incredible pair of, of 
earrings I had ever seen. Anyway, she left me for the lead singer of the Doors, which explains why this door reminds me of her, I suppose. Sorry, I have a tendency to ramble when players won't stop looking out the bloody doors. <laughs> oh, Yahtzee. Anyway, can I use the door? Man, because I'm guessing there has to be some kind of shovel around here somewhere. I don't know. Oh, never mind. I could just sweep a little bit out. Okay, never mind. Okay, push the button. Oh, that didn't seem to do anything. No, it probably emptied the pool, stupid. Figures, I didn't need the shovel. Ooh, okay. Let's go down. Right, down the ladder. Go down the... I have to use the ladder, don't I? Fine. Alright. Oh, Christ. Oh, Christ. This is definitely the man I met on the landing, presumably AJ. It's like someone tied him to the iron hook of the bottom of the pool. But I think he was dead before then. His throat's been split open by some large edged weapon. God, the stench! I've gotta tell the others. Well, oh, crap. Dead? How? Murdered. He was stabbed to death and then died to, tied to the bottom of the pool. Oh my god. You know what this means, don't you? We are the only ones in this house. The killer has to be one of us. Not necessarily. I don't think any of us could engineer. Shut up! It was you, wasn't it? You killed AJ and now you're covering your tracks. Philip, you're being absurd. Why would Shelby tell us where the body is if he wanted to hide it? He's covering his tracks. He was the last to see. Don't tell to arrive. Don't tell me you not least suspicious about him. And look, what happened to AJ was a terrible thing. It, but if we let it tear us apart, we could all go the same way. He's got a point, Philip. Oh, I see. You're all in on this together. Philip, shut up. As far as I'm concerned, there's no one I can trust anymore. From now on, uh, it's every man for themselves. Philip. Eh, I didn't like him much anyway. Idiot. He's shaken. We all are. So what do you think? About AJ, I mean. I'm not really sure. I think we're being haunted. Oh. Well, at least someone's keeping their head. Look, I'm not exactly in love with such an unscientific idea as a murderous ghost. But nothing other than supernatural could have engineered the situation. And this house has a bad history. A history I think it's time I started looking into. Well, do whatever you want. I think I'm going to look at AJ's death with a slightly more sensible attitude. Where's Jim? Someone should tell him about AJ. I think he went upstairs. I'll go look for him. Father? Jim? Jim, is that you? What are you doing, Father? For what? Father, no! No, don't! Father! Father! Hold on! Oh! Mr. Trilby? 